in front of Harrison this afternoon the side shows one change David McCourtry coming in for George Berry who's still suffering from double vision as the result of getting a knock last week and for Mickey Thomas it's a match against the club that he left just three days before the start of the season and his old side also shows one change it's at number three where Graham Pierce who played the first three games of the season returns in place of Don Shanks who now moves down to the substitutes role Mike Bailey the bright manager takes his seat a happy looking Arnold Challoner of Maltby is the man in charge quite a blustery afternoon and the top surface is likely to be a bit slippery as a result of rain for the last hour or so Stoke City attacking the goal to our left and that's a fixture which in recent seasons hasn't produced too many goals one one in fact in the last three seasons and that was enough to give Stoke a victory here's Robinson for Brighton that's a good solid run at the start and the goalkeeper did well and gets good applause that's the 21 year old Richie nicely taken and played off Grealish Still rather skidding off the wamp the damp turf Graceful, that's a great ball. Just a little bit too long, as it turned out. But how nice to see that sort of pass played. All along the ground, inside the fullback. But it just had too much pace and arrived at the goalkeeper too soon. was in attendance but the ball seemed to run away from the center half and a bright start with opportunities at either end Robinson McNabb Jimmy Case Grealish Hounded by Watson. Maguire. Sammy McElroy. A mistake. And a goal. By Thomas. A mistake by Foster. So the move building on the left. Sammy McElroy's cross seemed to go underneath the foot of Foster and Mickey Thomas was the grateful recipient. His fourth goal of the season scored suited enough in the fourth minute of this match. And maybe a, a moment to draw attention to the fact that in their last two league games here Stoke City have managed four goals. Maguire. Oh, that's a good play, and he was held. And in the end, Maguire couldn't give enough venom to the shot. 
and was denied by Graham Mosley who had come in front of his six yard line well, the referee allowing Maguire the advantage then because there was no doubt in my mind that Foster grabbed him strong elbow from Pace McNabb Robinson foul by Watson Pierce, Chamberlain, Want somebody wide, hasn't got anybody, so he had to turn, still gets it through, well that's the best we've seen of him yet, he did well to turn and retrace his steps, and very nearly got Maguire in. with rain they are well under cover watch Foster Bracewell Hampton Chamberlain corner of this gone to take it and who first made his name taking corners for Shrewsbury against Manchester City in the FA Cup a few years back and he's got another chance now as Case got in the way he really is one of the best corner takers around Watson looking for the ball in the far post turn that one away We're taking it out a bit Callahan trying to find some space mostly under a lot of pressure and that's another one fourth time lucky given Maguire hit it too strongly not as good with the moving ball as he had been with the static one Thomas Thomas or McElroy option of angles Thomas leaves it Thomas, made, met by Foster, Chamberlain is the chance, and it's in. The pressure finally pays off, all the corners from Maguire, it severely tested the right defence, finally the ball came, from left across to the right, and there was Chamberlain in space, and he made it count. Three minutes from half time, and Stoke finally have a second goal to justify the balance of play of this first half. Chamberlain's third of the season. Foster. Smith. Thomas yet again. Rising to the man. Callahan. And Thomas ends 
is in possession. And how right that that should be so. He, the scorer of the first goal, and involved in just about everything that moved. With the second goal coming from Mark Chamberlain. After severe pressure and some fine corners by Paul McGuire. So, at half time, Stoke City 2, Brighton 0. Crowd will feel that Stoke have done half the job if they have to keep up their record of scoring four times in home matches. Which they managed in the last two. Brighton have only one point away from home. That was in their last away performance when they drew at Goodison Park. They haven't severely tested Mark Harrison as yet. Bracewell. Oh, that's a good ball again. Thomas has two in the middle, three more behind those two. He's got to beat Stevens first and can't do it. again a fine flick on from out of the crowd on the near post and there was McElroy to knock it in so 50 minutes gone and Stoke had three and those three goals have been conceded by a side who lost five at West Bromwich four at Nottingham Forest and five at Luton in earlier matches this season. Thomas, McElroy. Thomas. Chamberlain well, it was quite clear for what he was aiming but he got curled from Hampton's cross but he couldn't get it down for the corner Thomas, Chamberlain, out by Foster. A super pass by McElroy. The ball fell kindly in midfield. It was swept out to Thomas, who was free on the left. Another corner. Callahan couldn't make it work that time as he had before. Still obviously with a lot to offer. Hard oh, they're having to work in midfield, Brighton to get anything going. Chamberlain. I say this is becoming rather special. Thomas. Oh. 
Hampton. And dan dat, die stuikt zijn die stapje. Smit. Graceball. First time passing is a real delight. Callahan, Foster with a stretch. Park it. Gracewell. McGuire. Chairman to the right, McGuire to the left. Plenty of options for Chamberlain, including scoring the new one point. Well, the goalkeeper did well to deny him. But he did well to try to seize the gap that his runner created. On the touchline with a very bloody leg. It's Mickey Thomas. You see the sock there, it's supposed to be white. Actually, Mark the manager has come down to inspect the damage. Corner is taken. And Thomas has to come off. And all around me in the stand, people are standing up and applauding. He has given a marvellous performance. Alan Dodd is the replacement. McNabb. Case. Corner. for the Brighton supporters at the back there to make themselves heard. It hasn't been an easy afternoon for them, or more so for their team. Foster has come forward. Richie. News of Mickey Thomas is that he has a nasty cut across the ankle which will need stitches. There's Chamberlain. Picks out Dodd. Gives him another go. Well, that's a good cross and a good save. Bracewell. Slightly caught in two minds, I think. Whether that was to find Chamberlain again or to beat the goalkeeper in his top left corner, I'm not sure. But a great angle that Chamberlain got on the cross then. And Graham Moser did very well to get a fist at the ball. in by Dodd. Robinson. Smith. Richie. And the opportunity wasted. Harrison and McCautry. Enough to deny Richie after a lot of hard work by Gordon Smith. supporters. Thomas the first goal scorer followed by Chamberlain with the second and Sammy McElroy with the third. Really fine display by Stoke City which had moments when it was really quite scintillating. Final score of Stoke City 3, Brighton 0.